Okay, in this video we're going to do a remote control battery test on a PowerShield Defender 1200 UPS. Okay, so you can see NetGuard's running in the background here in the, in the taskbar because that little circle is recirculating. So let's just go and open the monitor. And there it is there, that's our PowerShield Defender 1200 with two batteries. So all we do is we go up to control, go real-time control, all right, and we'll go, we want to do a 10 second battery test. So I'll press start, ask for my password. So my password is administrator, administrator, enter. All right, start the test now. You want to start it? Yes. And you hear it go click. There goes the battery self test going into start. All right, and we can do OK, done. All right. Now, if we want to go and check how that battery test went, we can go back to here and re refresh the PowerFlow uh, menu. Okay, and then we go and click History. And we'll go for Event Statistics and we go and look for a battery event. There it is. That's my little battery test. And to prove that, that I did that and only that time is going to see, look, battery test is going to start and battery self test is completed all right so basically let's just go back to the control go real time control start enter my password administrator or lowercase press start are you sure yes it started there it is, it's going to start. Okay, so now let's just go back and look at the history. So we can go back here, refresh. History, event statistics, battery event. And now we've got two battery sets going to start and two battery tests, soft tests completed. And it worked every uh, every time, so that's all very good. And in fact, we're going to look at data. Put anything there? Not really. So we just, I think we're just good to go. There we go. And in fact, actually, if we go look at history, you may even see something in the diagram for battery voltage. If we go today and browse, there you go. You see some interesting. Thing, oh no, battery voltage. There you go. See the dip there in the battery tests at various points. Uh, see, it's at 16, 1800 hours. Okay. So there you go. Thanks for watching this video.